Here's something where it gets even cooler. So iron, <laughs> spelled I-A-N, everyone, recently developed the first viable gamma ray shielding system for use on spacecraft and space habitats, space habitats, as well as carbon negative concrete to inhabit greenhouse gas to inhibit, excuse me, greenhouse gas proliferation. I can't talk because I'm just blown away that you made <laughs> a gamma ray shielding. It's like you watch Star Trek and Star Wars doing, you know what? I want one of those for myself. Yeah, actually, I, uh, I've i thought about the idea of a force field a whole lot. I just haven't started working on it yet. But <laughs> yeah, but no, truly, the, the gamma ray thing, it actually, it was, uh, I've done work with NASA before, and the, the gamma ray thing came out of a, a paper I read that Stanford had done where they, they showed that the gut microbiome was just eviscerated by gamma rays in outer space. And I thought, yeah, that, that's not so hot. You know, so we get all these rockets and, you know, we pop off to Mars. And uh, as soon as we leave, you know, the magnetosphere, that's kind of the, you know, the bubble surrounding the earth and we're not protected, it just rips us apart. So, you know, you show up in outer space, you go outside of that protective layer and you're out there and your body's just getting bombarded. So for the first generation with you know, being exposed to a tremendous degree of ionizing radiation, your DNA gets damaged, but you're older, you're already moving, you're, you're obviously astronaut age, um, which is older than beekeeping age. I, you know, I just, I don't really know, you know, how, how old one has to be to be an astronaut, but uh, these days, but, you know, definitively, you're probably in your early 30s, at least. So the, the, the outcroppings of the damage that you're going to take in your DNA aren't going to be readily available. But if you show up in a habitat and you start having kids, those uh, those damages to your DNA, um, and actually like tr true damage to the DNA, is going to cause a lot of, you know, you know deformed, you know, properties. I mean, it kind of akin to like thalidomide babies. And it just seemed like, yeah, that's, that's not a good idea. You know, like, you know, iteration one, we go out, we take some hits, it'll end up as most likely cancer or something like that. Um, you know, generation two though, they're, they're pickled. Right. And so I thought, eh, this, this is probably an egg I can crack. So, so I just started working on it and I leveraged, it was actually, it was pretty cool. I leveraged a bunch of principles that are, that are just things that occur in outer space that don't occur here terrestrially. And, and it, it made it work like a champ. I will tell you, <clears throat> I had the, uh, the deputy director of NASA flew down to my lab and uh, I had the whole the whole experiment set up, and this was this was truly the worst professional moment of my entire career. In the process of setting it up, we we had it set up in a lab at a university to remain unnamed. And uh, you know you never want somebody to walk by and see like radiation stickers on things. So we had actually set it up, tested it, worked flawlessly. Uh, she flew in, <clears throat> and the next day we were going to demonstrate it for her. So we we moved it into the back area, the back part of my lab, and. Uh, we had a big jelly roll of thorium wrapped in lead. And so thorium emits, you know, gamma radiation. And then we had this whole rig set up. In the process of moving it, it got knocked over. So it was firing laterally instead of straight up through the little hole where we had the Geiger counter on the top and the block and everything set up. And so, you know, we, we get her in, we do the whole song, song and dance routine. And, you know, it's like time for the test, do the test test fails <laughs> it, was, it was like it was really it was so bad i was like okay we'll do this again we did it, a it second time. yesterday i promise and i literally i looked at her it was so preposterous i looked at her and went look mom no hands because i because i could not fathom what had happened and so uh i said listen uh there's obviously an issue here why don't you guys go get some food i'll figure out what it is and uh one of the professors that was there with me uh, we we got to talking because I was freaking out, and he said, "Well, have you checked inside the box?" And you know, because we had this huge lead lined box, and I thought, well, "Well, no. Why would we do that?" You know, but but in truth, that was that was the thing. So we opened the box up, and the thorium jelly roll had fallen over sideways. And uh, so once we stood it back up straight, and it was vertically oriented, so it was shooting out the little testicle. Everything worked like a champ. But it was truly. Truly really the worst professional moment of my career. Kind of you're standing there like, <laughs> <laughs> I promise I didn't have you fly down because I wanted to have lunch with you. You know, I, it was like, it's legit tech, really. Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> so just, just another day in the life of Ian Mitchell. Hey, um, yeah. how about you give me the other day? So that, that was one that potentially turned out to be a highlight once you worked out that if you spun the thing back upright, it all worked again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
That was so ridiculous. Truly, so ridiculous. I, I can't tell you, like, you have somebody like that fly in specifically to see something like that, and then you fall, I think, flat. You know, you just kind of... <laughs> just know, just totally on ridiculous. that, I, I, I have this image iron of the, the NASA lady flying in on, like, one of those crazy government helicopters. Did she fly in one of those and land in your backyard? <laughs> when she, or get beamed? No, down, that, that, that would have been fantastic, though. No, no. Tell the neighbours. No, that that would have been great though. Sadly, nothing like that. Commercial flight into the airport. Yeah. <laughs>